Hey y'all, here's a little breakdown how I added body movement to toggles. The technique is pretty simple, although it does make use of physics linked movements. The key formed movements each have their own physics, and the inputs are these blank parameters above. That means we can mix and match how the body moves, and even chain our movements, like when we have the Z, the body will move to compensate for the weight. This model's movement is a little overcomplicated, so you can check out this video here and linked below for a bit of a simpler explanation on physics linked movement. For this technique, I originally put the toggles directly into the movement, so this head Y for example. The problem with this is we can see it's position based. It means our toggle will be constantly offset. To fix this, I just had to separate the toggles into their own groups, which actually made things a bit cleaner. If you want the toggle to keep its offset, use angle, and if you just wanted to bounce, use position. For example, on this head, we have pat on with bounce, which is position, and we have pat, which is angle. These toggle groups are then input into the body movements we want them to interact with. By setting them as angle, it means you won't have any issues with position offset, and it also means you can use the physics from the toggle group. So for example, we can have more bouncy movement with a toggle, but smoother movement for the actual body movement. And that's it. It's just a quick way to add a little bit more liveliness into the model by using existing rigging. Blip.